Jeff Carroll says, how do we protect a tenant buyer when we only have a lease option with a seller and prices go down during the term where the property will not bank appraise? Seems like we might be faced with returning the tenant buyer's option fee, et cetera. Opinion? Jeff, you always want to make sure that if you're going to do a lease option with the seller, that that deed goes into escrow. You don't want to take any chances that that seller could back up on you and not deliver the deed to you at a later date. What if the property goes up in value? Sometimes they don't want to deliver that deed to you anymore because the property went up in value. So you always want to go ahead and get the deed from the seller, put that in escrow. Now you're safe to offer to your buyer. Now, you know, one, one of the things that does happen in a declining market is that the values go down. So if somebody committed to you at a higher price and the values have gone down, well, guess what? There's the Jeff Carroll bank. So you're going to be the bank for that buyer. And one of the great things about being the bank is you don't have to worry about an appraisal. You done appraise that property yourself and you're quite satisfied with the price you sold it to them at. So being the bank is one solution. Another solution is to let them get an 80% brand new loan from the bank. And then that differential, you can be the bank on that second mortgage. And again, you can keep your value on that property. And, and remember, I'm going into my fifth real estate cycle here. We have navigated all these waters before. So not to worry, Jeff, get that thing under contract, get control of the deed, always have control of the deed. And now you can offer anything on the path to homeownership to your new buyer.